So what's going on everybody, FJC here back with another BattleBit video. Today I want to talk to you guys about DevCast 9 and what this means for BattleBit's future. If you are unaware, on August the 28th, the developers did their ninth DevCast, which is essentially the three developers getting together and talking about what they've been working on for the game. I actually watched DevCast 9 live on my live stream, twitch.tv slash it's FJC, and I was watching it with the boys, Duck Films TV, and Meatloaf FPS. I'm going to link both of them in the description. Definitely go give their channels a look. But to say the least, me and the boys were less than impressed with the devcast and i'm going to explain why in this video now before i continue with this video i want to remind you guys that i am aware that this development team is a group of three people but i just think what's currently going on with battle bits player base and loss of players is definitely something that needs to be addressed and looked at dev talk 9 was essentially over around 35 minutes into it essentially all that was said was that community servers is currently the main focus and they will only focus on bringing new content and new maps to the game once community servers are fully done they didn't even give us a date of when the next update would go live for BattleBit, so I can't even sit here and tell you guys when you can expect to see the update. From what I'm guessing, we can expect to see the update on either the 31st of August or the 1st of September. But there are a couple of big points to take away from the devcast, for me at least, and I want to talk about them in today's video because it directly affects the lifespan of BattleBit Remastered in my opinion. The main point to take away from the devcast was the fact that they are still working on community servers. We would be the people to test out the community servers and they would be released when the update comes out and new content will only be released once they're done working on the community servers. So to put it simply, we probably won't be seeing any new forms of content to this game for at least a month because we don't know how long they're going to work on the community servers after we're done testing them and how long it's going to take to finish them. They also changed the way prestiging works now. Prestiging is essentially just for cosmetics only, which to me makes absolutely no sense. And the day I'm recording this commentary, August the 29th, those changes for prestiging are already in effect in game me and duck films actually prestige today live on stream and we realized that we had all the camos and attachments unlocked already so as of right now if you're level 200 in my opinion there's really no reason to prestige anymore unless you haven't prestiged yet and you want the prestige one skin that gives you a pair of jeans as well while watching the dev cast i really noticed personally that the devs have a huge lack of communication between them throughout the dev cast it was brought to my attention specifically that the lead developer had promised the community a prestige skin before even reaching out to the 3d designer and asking them to create a skin as a prestige bonus on top of that the level designer was asked if he had anything new to offer to the community and his answer was simply uh no and i'm gonna play the clip now all right, all right, all right. bill you got i forgot to ask you you got any cool topics um today anything you want to show off uh, not really. Not really, okay. So I just want to reassure everybody that I do understand that he is the only person working on maps for the game, and I don't expect him to show off a new map every single dev cast, but at least show off a little bit of what you're working on on the newest map. Whether that be creating textures for the map, creating spawn points, or creating flag points, at least show us a little bit of what you've been working on so that the community gets an idea of where we're at. And the last bit of key information from the dev cast is that we can actually test out the update ourselves. The footage you're seeing right now now is actually on the latest update in the shooting range and you can see that i'm showing off the lean spam a little bit and how they completely removed it if you time the lean well you can still go left and right but the second you spam q e very quickly it essentially freezes you in the same position and after actually testing it out in the shooting range you can still lean left and right and use it to your advantage in combat you just won't be able to do it as quickly as before so definitely let me know your opinions in the comment section below i want to reiterate for the third time in this video that i do understand that there are only three developers working on this game but from my perspective and many others who are part of the battle bit community the devs are just taking way too long to release their updates and i don't want to sit here and say that i don't appreciate the hard work that they're putting into the game but myself and a lot of other people in the community are all in agreement that they should be working towards more content first before community servers as community servers are a good thing for the game and it would probably be needed in the future anyways but at the game's current state, there's not enough content in the game for a community server, and the same thing would end up happening on those community servers, where it would be the same players, the same maps, and the same repetitive nature. I love BattleBit Remastered so much, and I'm going to continue to stream it daily, but it's really no secret anymore that the player base is depleting very rapidly, and that causes room for concern. Like I said earlier, I want to hear your opinions in the comment section below, whether you agree or disagree with me, I'd still like to hear it. So let me know what you guys think, and if there's anything you think that can make BattleBit better, let me 
know about that as well. Anyway, guys, this has been FJC, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Much love.